Hello guys and welcome back to my Rome 2 Total War series on the Rise of Republic DLC. We'll be playing as Rome, trying to basically conquer the entire Italia Peninsula and complete the main campaign. Um, if you haven't checked out my previous episodes and in general just of this run-through campaign, then I recommend you to go check out the playlist that's on my channel. It is all there with all the up-to-date um, content and also gives you kind of an idea where we are, but pretty much general off from last session. Um, we finally finished off taking the rest of Corsica up here and the little island between Corsica and the main Italia. And we also finished off, I think, a rebellion that kind of sprung up again now. So we are a little bit, we had some political problems. So we are protected now for another six turns, which is great. Uh, everyone's going to be a lot more happy as well because we just um, overcame a succession. So you kind of get some uh, good political points for that. Um, and, and generally the idea now is I want to just focus all my attention on pushing north. This would be a kind of... It's been difficult trying to push anywhere more north because my armies are so spread thin. Um, and I can't really push in a direction too much unless I leave myself exposed to be then flanked and then the enemy taking um, armies... Uh, well, basically taking territory off behind me and then it, it comes basically like a cat and mouse game, uh, which is never too good. So I do have my ally involved in the war, but he's kind of involved slightly weirdly. So if we look at the diplomatic situation here, so I'm at war with basically everyone north of me, um, apart from the Veneti. But I'm at war with the uh, Ari, Ari, Ari Tim, uh, Takuna, and also these guys are Vesel. Um, and they're at war with um, so the uh, Takuna and yeah, just Takuna are at war with my ally and the Veneti. Uh, Ari, Ari Tim are at war with me and Veneti. But not my ally. <laughs> it, it, it's a completely dip, diplomatic situation here. The Veneti the are expanding quite well, although they're kind of dealing with a bit of a hostile reaction back here with this um, Gallic or Celtic tribe that's showed up. Um, but we're doing all right. So the idea is I want to basically try to focus all my attention pushing this way, but not leave myself too vulnerable that I end up being exposed on a flank somewhere. I do have plenty of armies. I think I've got around about. Uh, if I can find all my armies, actually. I think I have five armies in total. So one, two, three, four, five. I've got six. But I've only been able to bring some to bear up front. I've actually had to deal with a, like I said, rebellion down here, I think. So I've got an army um, a bit south at the moment. I don't know where my armies all are. So let's have a look here. They should show up on the map, I think. So yeah, I've got two armies down here that I need to come up north. I have um, an army off the coast here with, with a couple of fleets. The, there is a, uh, I'm trying to think actually here. I've actually got two fleets, haven't I? Yeah. So we've got a little bit of a problem here with this army that I just need to kill off. Um, this is Warriors of the Sea, so I probably do want to land my troops and then deal with them if possible. Um, where's these armies down south? I think that's like the main thing I want to focus on right now. So bringing these armies from the south up. Okay, so let's move you up. So let's run this way. So we're going to run through my um, one of my vassals. And run this way. And then we're also going to move up with this army. Um, just a bit close, but this time I want to move slower. I'm surprised I didn't get any kind of diplomatic problem with running through their territory, but I'm just going to keep going this way. Um, I didn't realize I went into their territory, to be honest, but let's kind of go around this way. I think it was just trying to follow the road. Um... And then we could actually... I would attempt to actually send the army this way. Um, but we could come through this, this forest area to the um, the east and try and take this settlement, and then we could push further north. I'm probably going to leave the armies just sat here for now, waiting. Because I think once I get these two armies to push up, I can then start gobbling cities up. Um, and then also when I get this fleet dealt with over here. At the moment, I've been trying to heal a couple of fleets. I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's on patrol at the moment. Could actually send him around. But I think because this navy is here, um, put him there. Can actually this navy go around? Yes. So if I actually send both my navies around, I think I should be able to deal with him. He's got 11 ships there. I've got 13 and 8. So I've got more than enough to deal with. We've got 21 versus his 11. So I outnumber him 2 to 1, basically, nearly. Um, I don't think I can get close enough. So if we move to here, plus I think we'll also get the... Um, he's actually in range, I think, of both these cities, yeah. 
So we'll also get the um, fleets combining that way. So let's... This one's the weak one, so I want this to be the reinforcing one. Let's see what he does. He might actually back off. Um, we'll, we'll see what he does. I want to try and just finish this fleet. Yeah, he backed off, which is expected. And we want to use this guy to move, but we want to keep close by to the main navy. So we'll do that. We can actually come bind up, I think. Um, we also want to make sure he can't come around and take the settlement. So I don't think he can get in range from this direction, which is fine. So let's move this way. And then we're going to put this fleet in here. Uh, is this one got the upgrades so is it this one okay yeah so we can put the fleet in to heal up okay a couple of ticks on there we're going to keep this other fleet nearby just in case he tries to attack it if he go tries to go for the settlement itself we can actually spin around i do have a couple upgrades i've got to make on this settlement um because we recently took it so let's finish that off because we can't really use a lot of these upgrades because they're of different um culture to ours apparently so we don't know what they are uh, these armies can stay there. We do have a couple of dignitaries around. So what are you doing? Uh, he's only level 2, so we should probably actually get rid of him. Or maybe not. Let's try and uh, wait here. Um, we're just trying to get rid of a couple of these guys here. So we can manipulate this guy. Let's see if we get this guy assassinated. Did that? Did you? Oh, there we go. So it was a bit of a misc work there. And so he hasn't died. Um... Okay, so we've wounded him, which is good. Got a spy nearby. So let's just move the spy a bit up this way. Let's see up there. Got a spy up here as well. I'm not sure where his army's gone, because he's actually created a second one there, but it's not recruiting anything on it. Um, obviously, we do have both my units moving up this direction. I do have a, another army all the way down here, but I was not wanting to move the army up, because it takes so long to get up further north. Also, if anything kicks off down south, I won't be able to deal with it. Uh, so I was a bit in a weird predicament with that. But anyway, let's uh, move into the next turn and see um, what happens in terms of everything going off at the moment. Uh, hopefully I guess we can kind of keep pushing north here. Oh, we have a quiet round. We've got an enemy wounded. I'm not sure where that was. I guess he tried inciting some unrest and he got wounded in the process, which is good. Got agent has been hindered. Uh, your agent has been hindered by the enemy agent. The result has been slowed down. Not good. Uh, we've got some angular plebs and indifferent uh, patricians, but that's fine. Got an agent exposed. We also got a non-aggression pact. Um, so the lovely Nuragik... Confederation here has asked a non-aggression pact. They are really angry at me, but I'd rather have them not be potentially... They're at war with Carthage, so they're kind of dealing with them right now, which is good. Um, just as much as uh, Syracuse and that are at war with Carthage. So it keeps them busy away from me, um, which is good. And I'm not really interested in taking over uh, Sardinia just yet, if I don't need to anyway. Come back later date for that one. We have obviously have a lot more agent spam going on here, which is fine. That army has... Oh, we've actually lost a view on here. So I actually might want to move my agent down this way and sit in between these two salmons just so I can see what's going on here. There we go. So we actually do have some visibility. I didn't realize, actually, this settlement here, <laughs> it could just walk this direction and take this settlement, but um, I think we might be okay for now. So let's move up this way. Hoping there isn't someone nearby that can walk into this territory and hit me, but I'm, I'm there's part of me that's hoping that because we have he isn't at war with my vassal, he won't actually go into the territory. But I've, I've been surprised before. Um, a fleet, where's that gone? Okay, so it's moved south. We actually have another fleet here. This army now can land on the coast, which be good. Cool. Um, and then the fleet's general idea is just to keep an eye on all these, um, if possible. Let's move around. I think we should be able to actually upgrade some of these as well. Um, 
let's get another military wharf in here. Uh, what is this? This is a industrial one, isn't it? Yeah, so we get bonus for manufacturer. Um, so maybe it might be worth just maybe having a meeting place for commerce. Um, I've already got a field of Mars generally there, but it would be good for a garrison on this island. So we'll do that, and we'll also get a a pit, and then we'll also increase this to give. Um, bonus armor and shields for the province, which would be good. My ally is obviously patrolling as well, which is good. Want to jump into there, and we'll just see what goes off. This is getting some garrison back now as well, which is good. So if he does actually try and attack, I've got a fleet and a main force there. This guy can actually move up, although I do want to recruit some units in here if possible. Although. What we got here? Oh, I see it. Probably would be a good idea. Although we're a bit short on income at the moment. So it would be probably a good idea just to try and beef this unit out some more. Because it's only got bog standard Astarte, Principes. We've got some Vol uh, Volsky, um, or Volsky Warriors, and some Rorii, and then some Archers. And he's a bit under strength at the moment. But I don't have the income to be able to do it. What can you recruit in here? Not much yet. And I still have a couple of buildings I need to work on. Um... I guess if I move this unit up a bit more, it might try and see what these guys do. So let's let's move up to here. Okay, cool. Uh, I would actually love to try and take these units out, or try and kill them, or do something along the lines. But right now, it's just I don't have the income to do it. Yeah, I need quite a bit of money to do some agent um, subversion. So we'll just keep. Waiting around, I think, for now. Use my dignitaries and that just to... It's like a wall of spies, or um, just in general here. Um, and these guys have moved up, which is cool. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. But no else to really fling off around, or move, or do anything with. The spies moved. This one I want to keep there. I want to keep this spy further north here to see what he's doing. He's actually recruiting more men. And I think my ally is doing a really good job. Uh... <laughs> Of pushing down quite south, as you can see here. He's taking up quite a lot of settlements, which is fine. Because if he's my ally, I do want him to be... Um, is he actually my ally fully, or is he a defensive ally? No, he's my military ally, which counts, which is good. Because I don't want to have to go to war with him. Or I have to wait ten turns and then be able to go to war with him. But then no enemy wounded, which is good. We've got some slums that I've forgotten about. Oops. Ooh. That's going to cost me a lot. I've got a lot of slums. Whoopsie. It's a 500 at a time, and you also get negative, uh, yeah, you get minus six food, and you get a load of public squalor, uh, which is never too good. We actually completed a mission as well, which was completely control 15 provinces by, by direct ownership, all through client state. Oh, no, it's the new mission. Um, I don't know, yeah. Oh, apparently we, oh, is that the, I don't really know. We actually completed a mission. We got a new party that's formed, but that's fine. We've got a new objective. Uh, the following uh, faction must have no territory. We've got to basically kill them off now, which is fine. Uh, and then the Helvetia migrated north. So, again, that's another problem for my ally, <laughs> which is never too good, I think. But we do have a lot of money now. Look at that. Um, so what we can do is leave this army here to... I'm trying to think which way. There's a lot of stuff going up this direction right now. I could use... Leave an army here, go... And do a pincer movement on this army. I could also take this quite quickly. My ally is actually sitting right there. So let's move in. Let's take this next province. Um, who do I want to take it? Um, we've got two different guys here, haven't we? We've got a blue guy and a... I'm trying to remember politics. Politics plays a big important um, way in this game. So you want to keep people happy by having them take stuff. So if we have the blue guys here, uh, Amelia... Um, if they take stuff, they actually get happy because General wins battles. Because um, we're the uh, yeah the House of Furia. So I actually need these. There's, there's a new green guy that showed up here who's very unhappy just because he's a xenophobe, he's a, he's a mogul, um, and he's also an ag agriculturist. So we have plenty of food, which should give us some positivity. He, he loves money, so he likes a promise that has more than a lot of wealth, which is great. But he doesn't like foreigners, so he, 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 minus two lot for each faction with you establish treaties with. So we've got minus ten because we've got five. 
which is never too good. But at the moment, he's minus 13. Maybe if we gave him as someone who's a leader. Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Cool. So let's move forward. Uh, we'll use this guy to take a province. So we can't go too far forward with this guy. So let's go here. Let's get, let's get this wall back onto uh, the road again. We could just take this province quite easily. We don't have to worry about... The garrison's really small. Wow. I expected maybe something bigger for a city, but... I'm not going to complain. <laughs> In all fairness, to be honest. That is a very small garrison for a city. So we've taken that, which is good. We can now move the spy a bit more up. Let's just try and see if we can spot anything over here. The spy do its job. We can actually then try and... Get rid of some of these. Okay, he's wounded. Oh. We're going to try at least either kill them or wound them so it gets rid of them for the time being. Okay, my agent is wounded. It's just a flesh wound. Okay, that won't work. Uh, we do have him, who is quite a high-level general, but... Oh, veteran. Veteran. But I can't do anything just yet. Um, the idea is I want to actually double hit this with two stacks. So one from this direction, one from that direction. He might come down with an army, but it's not strong enough to do anything with. And my spies are kind of giving me pre-warning of what's going on. So let us use this army to hit this settlement. Um, which army do I want to use? Use this one. Okay, move both in. You can come to here. We'll then get some more units for you. So, um, I mean, we could probably do some cavalry. So we get Italian cavalry. They're not the best, but they're better than nothing. Let's stick you up, and then we could get some more. Um, let's get a Slinger. And then some more Rory. Um, or can we get some more Astarte? Yeah, let's get some more of them. That'll work. That'll bring out those units nicely. We've taken this settlement, which is good. Um, I think actually what I could do, if I wanted to be really sneaky about the entire thing, is I could actually move him out and then put him in and then do that. But I want to definitely move quick north, take that settlement, take this one. So once we've taken this off, it cuts off this potential right flank, moves further north, split two units each way, uh, hit that settlement and that one, and then that one, that one. Actually, we're going to take this one soon. Then we got all these three. So it's like you're moving up in waves. Um, should be fine. And we'll see what happens with these armies down here. So which one did I was going to use? Um, this one, I think. What's this, what's this guy's name? Can you give me some details, please? Oh, this guy's from the... Um, oh, it's Terraris. Okay. So he's from this house. The house of Sevilla. We definitely want to use him to keep him happy. Do have my other army close by. It's well in our um, strength of forces, so the scale is in our favor. So we'll just do a balanced stance. Take the province. Good. And then we'll keep close by, I think, here, just in case we need to move in on this settlement. I don't think you'll, it will bother because of just these units are quite weak. There is a, quite a few units up this direction, but I'm hoping that because they're being pushed from two directions, they're kind of stuck on where they want to send their armies right now. Which would be fine by me. Um, and then we just need to focus on upgrading units, really. So let's get you upgraded. Get rid of these. And then remember to actually upgrade some of these. So we'll keep some money actually for next turn. Um... Before I actually start just bombarding these, because the problem is with a lot of them, uh, where's actually that fleet gone? It's there. Attempts to actually chase him down, in all fairness. I don't like fleets where they start walking off and they could maybe challenge settlements, but yeah. Um, then maybe what I can do is actually send a fleet up this way to deal with. Yeah. Still waiting for upgrades, I on these. I mean, I, I just. Upgrade that one, actually, because that would give us a bit more. I've just got so many upgrades, but I've just got not enough money to be able to do it. But you need to upgrade your settlements because they give you more wealth. Um, 
So we'll keep bit money we have for next turn. We're not getting that much, so I want to be able to actually upgrade buildings because we do have um, buildings in here to go through yet. With uh, actually, you know what? We'll be play it safe. We won't bother upgrading that just yet because I need to make sure I have enough to upgrade all the buildings that I will have, and I can't remember how much I'll need. So I want to have just more than enough. Cause I don't want slums. Slums are not good. Cost you to remove them, and they also give you uh, negative effects. Okay, I think we've moved everyone. Oh, let's give you an upgrade. Ever in service to Rome. Yes, you are ever in service to Rome. Uh, Malvon Arm Damis. Mm. Oh, for parent army. Okay, so that's only if you're on board. Um, bribery Commander. Actually, we get that one. That's plus 3% chance of all, all actions succeeding, which would be good. I think we're good. Yeah, nice. We got another triumph. Nice. Got some military disruption, so we bribe one of my units. Two of my units. All right, got some research done. We got protections expiring soon. We got some public order for the triumph, which is great. Yeah, so we've got units coming in now, um, doing the usual bribe, bribe, bribe. So I need to kill him. Um, so let's get rid of you guys quickly. 50% chance. Uh, it's, it's quite good. Oh, wounded. Never good. And then this guy. 36% chance. And he's dead. That's what you get for uh, coming in here to try and do what you were doing. I uh, can't really do a subversion on this one. Okay. Now, I've noticed, and this was from uh, during the turn, um, these my enemies to the north, I just can't sustain them, Zen, by the looks of it. The, the, the short on food. So now they're starting to take attrition even in their own um, settlements, which is hilarious. Um, which I'm not going to complain against, to be honest, because it works in my favor that way. Uh, okay, let's before I forget, let's upgrade all these. So let's get a consecrated ground. Uh, this is wine, so this is agriculture. So this would be good for, I think, commerce. Is it commerce? Oh, from farming. So if we get some more farms, actually. I think... That's commerce, commerce, recruitment. Oh, land re recruitment costs. Actually, it's quite good, though, if you get that one. If you want to recruit units up here. And then this one is industry, so get that from there. And then we also get... Yeah, this is basically pure industry. And then we'll put a... Uh, maybe some more agricultural? I don't know if it works adjacent in adjacent territories. I know it gives the bonus, so let's... Give a another farm in there. Okay, cool. And then we had some slums down here, didn't we, that we've managed to clear up. So let's get those picked up. So this doesn't really have anything it's going. It's just a minor settlement. So we'll get a... We've already got a main settlement with a farm in it. So try to remember what was in here to begin with, which is always funny. Um, 